Sensory profiling is an objective method for describing all the differences between a product, all the sensory differences, so that's the appearance, the flavour, the aroma, the texture, the products. And we can produce what's called a fingerprint of each product. Food and ingredient companies often want to know what the objective differences are between their products and their competitors' products. And that is where sensory profiling can be very useful. If they're doing a consumer test, they might want to get some sensory profiling information in order to, to better interpret the consumer response and give their product developers a better direction as to which way to go to improve their products. The sensory profiling method starts off with selecting of the panellists. The sort of people that do sensory profile are ordinary consumers, but they have been selected for their sensory abilities. So we put them through a series of screening tests so that we can find the right people. They have to be able to identify basic tastes, distinguish between different products, identify common odours and flavours and describe differences between products in terms of their appearance differences, aroma, flavour and texture differences. So once we've selected the panellists, then the next stage is um, a discussion stage really, where we generate the vocabulary that describes all the differences between the products under test. Once those have been generated, these are discussed as a group and they come to a consensus agreement as to which terms should be used and also a, a definition that they all agree on. And that's really important, that everyone has the same understanding of each of the terms. Then the next stage is the panellists are all on their own in the taste panel booths and they assess each of the products for each of the attributes and they give a rating on a line scale to quantify the amount of that attribute. And of course, all the products are coded, so people do not know what the identity of each of the products is. Then the data is analysed statistically, and we work out the mean score for each of the attributes for each of the products. And that can be presented visually on uh, plots such as spider diagrams, which will show you all the differences. Sensory profiling doesn't tell you how much people like the product. It's really concerned with identifying how the products differ, in what ways and by how much. 